I'm going to show you some of the functionality of this program by doing uh, a couple of things. I'll, I'll send out a bulk SMS and I'll also work with contacts and groups. I'm logging in as the demo user with the password demo and then I'm going to look at the contacts page. Um, okay, there's um, click on members. I've selected the members group, all these people are in the members group. Everybody who gets added always ends up in the members group, but you can also move them to other groups. You'll see we've got a group called SMS and those people have been added. Um, I could go and create another group, add a new record. I could say a uh, social group. And then I could go back to contacts. I could say um, add people to the social group. And I could select um, show members. Okay, I could say select this one and that one. And um, add them to the social group. Now if I go to social group, I could work with those people. I'm going to send out an SMS and I normally use the SMS group to send SMSs. Then I remove everybody from the group again. Um, let's go to SMSs, send the SMS. I'm going to say hi name, which is a variable for the person's name. It will personalize it. Say please Please come to Nino's at $1,500. Um, I could save the SMS as a permanent SMS, then it would show in the drop down over here. But I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I tried to send without selecting a group, so it gave me an error. I say send to social group. It's, it's got two buttons, uh, so um, this is so that you can't send uh, SMS by mistake. Some of the municipalities have thousands and thousands of users, so it would be a really big problem if they sent one by mistake. It, it would use up all their credits. Here's a warning sign. It says the SMS will go to two recipients, which is correct. It will use one credit per SMS. Total credits will be two. Um, that's because there are two uh, recipients um, and it will, it's, it's, sometimes it will use more than one credit if it's a long message. The message text is, hi name, please come to Nino's at $1500. I say OK. I say confirm and send now to the selected groups. Your message has been scheduled to be sent. Please check the delivery report, reports to verify. So, okay. It doesn't send it immediately. There's a task engine that runs on the server and checks for messages that are due. This function could also allow you to schedule an SMS. I'm gonna just choose a SMS group. You could see that if I chose a certain date, the 19th um, at say 2 o'clock well that's 2 o'clock in the morning um, it, it puts it in there and if I said uh, confirm send it would schedule that message to go out at that time and I'm going to show you how to save an SMS, I'm going to save this one um, now it should become available if I do a refresh, let's, let's go to prepare SMSs. Um, you could put in a signature. Say, from uh, Exelon. Save the signature. You can save SMSs. You can say, please attend a meeting at the municipal offices at 
say um, 1500 hours and let's personalize this uh, hi name save the SMS now if we went to you'll see there's my other message now if we go to send SMS we could choose it from here the municipalities use this a lot and I could say send to the SMS group and send now to selected groups your message will go to two recipients we'll use two credits that's fine confirm and send your message has been scheduled to send that's fine